Welcome to Elvis Fans Matter. We're going to start out today kind of jumping around different things. Uh, <laughs> Frog. Uh, what? Froggy. Froggy. Froggy went a jumping. <laughs> but uh, start off maybe like with uh, some of uh, Elvis's relationships. Uh, I've talked about, you know, several different ones, you know. Uh, Anita, you know. Barbara Hearn. Uh, golly, <laughs> on down the line, but uh, Elvis, as far as it went with women, uh, I've said several times, like, you know, uh, he never was you know, completely faithful to any one woman. And uh, that's just the way Elvis was. I, you know, I can't explain to you why he was like that, but he was. He just, you know, just moved from one woman to another. Uh, <laughs> that sounds horrible. Well, he, you know, it's not in a bad way, it's just, you know, his popularity went so quick, you know, and, and it was so many different women around, you know, that I think, And you he know, knew he could, you know, be... Yeah, and... Have and, just about anybody he wanted to be with. And, he, you know, he just didn't, uh, he just didn't stay with one woman, and he was... I think Elvis was looking, you know, uh, a lot of times for a certain woman, but... You know, he just never, never could find, find it. So, uh, so he, you know, he he played the field, I guess is that what they used to say. In, and but uh, but the funny thing is, he expected them to be totally. Oh yeah, that was different. With, to him, it was different. You had to be, you know, had to be number one. Number one. The only to, one. I mean, you know, you just didn't. Uh, if he thought a woman was fooling around on him and all that, uh, they weren't there very long at all. So, but uh, I, that was one of the things about him, you know. I, a lot of people, I, I know once, somebody asked about why Elvis looks so sad out of his eyes, you know, and I, 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 I never did think he did, you know. I didn't you know. either. I always thought he had that twinkle, uh -huh. little twinkly, you know, mischievous <laughs> look. Yeah. You know, now, I, but to, but to be honest, his eyes told it all. Mm -hmm. You knew if when you looked at him, you knew if he was mad. You could you could re you could read him through, through his eyes. Through yeah. his eyes, yeah. you, you know. knew if he was up to something. You could you, you could tell if he was naughty or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> naughty. <laughs> if you could tell if he was putting you on, yeah. or if he you know. But. Uh, that's just that was just some things. He would about go to any lengths to get his way about anything, oh, or to get golly, you to I'm give you, in yeah. to him. So you know you yeah, could. Yeah, he, he, he'd pull a <laughs> he'd pull a sad story on you if it took that, or you know, uh, a laughter. That was just uh, Ellis. He would uh, he would play you like a bass fiddle, as they used to yeah. say. <laughs> One thing that always got but me he about would, him is he he never. He never understood how anybody could not like him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and and I I don't either. I mean, but he just he was just always, you know, thinking like that. You know, everybody because I remember one time Lisa asked. She said, um, and this is just typical Elvis. She said, uh, Daddy, does everybody in the world? Uh, does everybody know me? And he said, well, a lot of people, yeah, they do know you, baby. And she said, uh, does everybody know you? And he said, oh, yeah, everybody. <laughs> yes, Lisa, everybody, just about everybody knows me. And because of me, they they know you. <laughs> so he was like, you know, he, he liked the recognition. And he liked being Elvis. Oh, yeah. He loved being Elvis. It was just, um, 
But he wasn't, it wasn't to the insulting, um, you know, overbearing yeah. thing. It was a, it was a light side of like, like, he didn't use it like, oh, I'm Elvis Presley, but he just, yeah, you know, like with the with the golf cart, you know, yeah. uh, when Lisa's golf cart broke yeah. down and all, <laughs> uh, we were standing outside, had a flat talking, and uh, she come running up to Elvis and Daddy, Daddy, my golf cart's got a flat on it. Would you fix it? And he was talking. <laughs> he said, "Wait a minute, Lisa," and he went on talking, and minute she said, "Daddy." Oh, Daddy, please, my, my golf cart's got a flat on it. Will you fix it? And he looked down and he said, Look, Lisa, Daddy's rich. I don't do that kind of sh uh, stuff. <laughs> uh, get Earl and, and them to fix it for you right quick. So, that's the way he was. <laughs> Daddy don't do things like no. that. Daddy has somebody to do it, <laughs> do it for, for him. him. <laughs> Which he was saying it like in a, in a funny, funny way. way yeah. That's how he was. He didn't. Well, he was he was laughing the whole time. He was laughing he was the whole time he said it. But <laughs> look, Lisa, he said, "Daddy's rich." He, he said, "I don't do stuff like that." He said, "I have people to do it for me. Get Earl and and Mike to do it for you." He was laughing, but he meant it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, as far as doing it, actually yeah. doing it. He, yeah. <laughs> but he was oh golly, he was something else for. But uh, those were some of the funnier times and. In, in his life and all that. I remember, I mean, he, you would think he wouldn't think about things like this, but I remember one time I had this, he had given me this um, black onyx ring, and it, he said it looks like uh, the Starship Enterprise. And it did. And it, it did. And uh, one of the long, it was long black, um, what are those stones? The onyx. Onyx. Yeah. Uh, it, it was. They were like long and squared off, like mm -hmm. logs or something. And one had fell out. Well, I was. You know, I was upset because my ring. Met, well, he said, "We'll super glue it." <laughs> so he he super glued it <laughs> and put it back in. Later, I had to get it fixed, but. It helped to then, anyway. I mean, he would think of things, yeah. you know, like that. You would think he wouldn't think anything about stuff like that, but he, he did. He was, he was just a, he was a character. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, he just, he just, just done some crazy things. I know he bought us two peacocks when we lived, <laughs> lived in the trailer, and uh, and they were pretty. And <laughs> he said, well. Joe, he said, where would you like to put these? Yeah, they were big metal, and big metal, metal yeah. uh, wall, you know. And, yeah. and Joe said, well, I, you know, I really would like them right here. And he said, you got some hammer and nails? <laughs> and, of course, we got him some hammer and nails. And he took a peacock and stood it up there, and he took him nails and that hammer. And right through the right center through of the <laughs> Right through the set, and I never moved it <laughs> until we, we left moved. It that way. We left it that way with a nail that he nailed straight through the peacock. <laughs> I mean, he, he which that <laughs> which that old country, southern way has come out sometimes. Yeah, but he he hung them. and then he stood back and admired them like yeah, like yeah, he <laughs> said, ah, that, doesn't that look good? That really looks good. <laughs> like we were gonna say no, you know? yeah, <laughs> and they did. They, they but look he, good. You really can see the nails. But, no, but boy, he he, uh, he just took a hands-on, <laughs> you know, decorate. He wanted to deck. That's like he took us out to buy furniture for the trailer. He didn't like what was in it, the the furniture that came in it. So he took us out to buy brand new furniture for mm -hmm. the trailer, and it was beautiful. It was. It but was. um, Some he just and he he would come in and you know put that there and put this there. And, I mean, he was just like, you know, this is, he, he just, <laughs> I mean, we, we miss all that and um, all well, those times. Uh, yeah, all kind of crazy stories. Crazy, boy, crazy stuff. It's but, a life that you <laughs> just <laughs> would never believe <laughs> the things that went on and happened. 
And it wasn't snooty, you know, uh, it was just downright. Yeah. <laughs> country, crazy, silly, and that's what made it so great. It just, uh, you could just relax, be yourself. Yep. And, uh, and that's what he liked. Boy, he, after he furnished uh, the trailer and all, he, he would bring people out. People out, just, you know, all times of night, early morning, didn't make any difference, you know, just if he had somebody come in town or it was up at Grayson, you know, he'd bring them out to the house and, you know, and knock on the door and as soon as you open, it didn't make any difference how you dress. Run on <laughs> in, he came, boy. So. And he would say, So you had to be real careful. Yeah, but he would say, It's just me. Just and I me. Think, like I that. think, just me. <laughs> it's just me, Elvis. <laughs> but he was, he was something else, boy. I remember was, when he was going uh, with um, Sheila Ryan, mm -hmm. and he brought her out and um, to show her the trailer and um, and to meet us and um, he had <laughs> he always carried that flashlight that big long flashlight when yep. he and he I mean the lights were on inside <laughs> the house but he would go around and shine that flashlight on, on things, different and things spotlight yeah, like, things like she couldn't see it with yeah. the lights on you know and he mean? said oh yeah and here's a uh, it was I think I was in the third or fourth grade and you were like in the fifth or something like that and he went oh yeah and here's Billy and Joe's wedding pictures <laughs> <laughs> he always he always you know, kidded us about that but um there were some fun things and all a lot of fun times yeah uh, just can't tell you just how much we we still miss him boy I just you know it's you never been, get tired of talking no, about the stuff that we no. did because it was it was a life amazing you you couldn't believe unless you you know you actually lived it and we hope you know by telling our stories maybe y'all can kind of live it along with us and we uh we certainly do appreciate you watching our videos and uh we're gonna do others as we go along but for this one right now we'll leave it there and Head on down the road. Wish everybody a Merry Christmas. It's uh, always holidays are bittersweet for us, but you know we have our our family. And but um, as far as Elvis, we'll always miss that. Yeah. That special bond and how it how it was living with him. And remember what we always say: Elvis fans matter. matter. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.